Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to be doing a comparison to show you how to get uh, notifications from your cell phone on both a Garmin device versus a Google Wear OS device. Now the purpose of this video isn't to say, oh the Garmin device is better than the Google Wear OS device. Uh, it's nothing like that. It's basically just to show you the difference between the two. If you're out there shopping around and you're trying to decide which one do I get, this is maybe something you want to consider. I'm using the Garmin Forerunner 955 Solar and I'm using the CentOS 7 as my Google Wear OS device. Shouldn't matter which device you use, all of the Garmin's will work the same way and all of the Google Wear OS devices work the same way. So even if you're looking at a Samsung, something like that, as long as it's running Google Wear OS, you're going to be following the same steps. With the Garmin, if you're looking at the Phoenix or the Instinct or something like that, it's going to work the same way as the Forerunner 955. So let's go ahead. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to send myself a text message from Google Voice. Now we're going to see if everything works the way it should, I just got the text message on my phone, but I didn't get the text message on my Garmin and I didn't get the text message on my Google Wear OS device. So you basically start looking around and you say, man, why am I not getting these text messages or notifications? Maybe it's a Facebook notification you're not getting. Maybe it's uh, some your Blink camera notifications. The first thing is we're going to assume that everything's done correctly. You're getting other notifications. You've got your Garmin device connected to your cell phone. You've got your Bluetooth turned on. Same thing with your Garmin, uh, Google Wear OS device. Let's start with the Garmin. For Garmin, now this video is only for Apple users. I'm doing this on an Apple device. If you've got an Android device, sorry, I'm not sure how that works. But for Apple users, you're going to get on your phone for a Garmin device and you're going to need to go to your settings. Under settings, you're going to go to notifications. There's a couple things we need to check under here. The first thing is for show previews under notifications, that has to be set to either always or when unlocked. If it's set to never, you will not get any notifications from any of your apps on your Garmin device. The second thing is make sure that's set. Then you're going to go to the given app that you're not getting notifications for. Maybe that's messages, maybe that's the blink camera, whatever. In my case, I sent myself a text message from um, Google Voice. I didn't get it, so I'm going to go to the Google Voice app. And then there's a few things we need to check per app. The first thing is you want to make sure that allow notifications is turned on. If that is off, you won't get the notification for that app. The other thing is notification center has to be checked in order to get the notification. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check that. And you'll see, I don't know if you can see it or not, as soon as I checked it, that text message that I just sent came through on this device. So I'm going to clear that. That was the problem why I didn't get it on my Garmin device. But there is another thing we want to check in the notification, even though that fixed my problem. If it doesn't fix your problem, make sure Notification Center is checked. And then down here under Lock Screen Appearance, make sure Show Previews is set to Always or When Unlocked. The default is always, so in most cases you're going to already have that set, but those are the things within the given application that you want to make sure. Show previews is always, the notification center box is checked, and allow notifications is checked. On the flip side, maybe you're getting notifications from your uh, Apple device, your Apple phone that you don't want to get. So let's say I want to turn off the Uverse notification. All I need to do is go into that given uh, application and make sure notification center is turned off or turn it off and you won't get that notification anymore on your Garmin device. This has nothing to do with the notifications on your cell phone. So I will still get the notifications on my uh, iPhone. It just controls whether or not you're going to get them on your Garmin device. So that's how we do it on the Garmin device. Now let's go fix the issue on my Google Wear OS device. So same thing. I sent myself a text message. I didn't get it on Google Wear OS. What do we do on the Apple Watch? Uh, Google Wear OS is much easier. All you're going to do is you're going to go into the Wear OS app on your cell phone. It will show your device. Swipe up. Go to the bottom. There's a section called Notifications. Click on the Notifications. It will show you all of the apps on your phone. And you can basically go through, find the app that you want to turn on the notifications for, and turn it on. So now I've got voice turned on. It should send notifications from my phone to my Google Wear OS device, in my case, the Cento 7. So we should be fixed on both devices. Let me send myself a second text message. And I should get it on my phone because I'm texting myself. I got it on my Garmin device. 
and I got it on my Google Wear OS device. Pretty simple stuff. That's a quick look at how to control the notifications per app from your Apple uh, iPhone to your Garmin or your Google Wear OS device. I hope the video helps.